Hi everybody. Have you heard about the cognitive dissonance? Though many of you would not have heard this word, every one of us are experiencing it day by day. So cognitive dissonance is nothing but which creates a conflict between the belief and the behavior. So each and every part of our life, every age group and people in different business, different work environment face this dissonance. So this conflict between the belief and the behavior causes stress in our mind when this dissonance level increases. It causes disappointment, stress and pain and a feel of guilty. So I think I can explain you with the help of some examples so that you will be able to understand and relate it to your life. Suppose you take a person who is smoking, who has the habit of smoking. The same person knows very well about the injurious it is going to cause to his health. So smoking causes some injury to his health. It is going to reduce his lifespan and it is going to spoil his parts of the body. He is well aware of it but he cannot quit smoking. He believes, he understands that smoking is injurious to health at the same time as a behavior he is not able to quit. So every time when he is smoking the belief what he has in his mind that it is going to be harmful to his health will keep coming but at the same time he will not be able to stay without smoking. So this conflict between the belief and the behavior. So he know it is not good but he keeps continuing to do so. So it causes injury to his health. Though he can reduce this by thinking when I smoke I am releasing my tension. I am able to work better and I am not smoking. I am not a chain smoker. I smoke only less number of cigarettes per day. It is not going to help affect my health. So this is one thing which people may keep in their mind to convince themselves and not coming out of the behavior. So here the belief and the behavior has a conflict and since the person wanted to convince for his belief but does not want to come out of his behavior. This is one example. Another example is suppose a person buys a car and he has care for the environment. He buys a car but it is not fuel efficient and it causes lot of smoke to the environment and so what happens is the environment is polluted. So this is running in his mind this yes because of my car the fuel consumption is more by the car so the smoke ejection is also more which causes pollution to the environment. So this is the belief but he is still using the same car because he has purchased the car. So how he will reduce this conflict? To reduce this conflict, either he should sell the car or he choose a public transport and reduce the pollution to the environment. Another one is suppose a person goes to an exam, a girl goes to an exam, it's a very tough exam and she carries some papers in her hand. She, she is aware that she will not be able to write the exam properly. She wanted to copy that in her exam. She copies in the exam. But after coming back she gets uh, cleared in the exam and she gets the certificate but still the consciousness says I should not have done it is a cheating. But still she has not changed her behavior she convinces herself saying the question paper is tough that is the reason I have done and many people are doing it every time but I have not done every time I have just done once in a while. So this is a way they convince themselves in order to reduce the conflict between the belief and the behavior. If you take the diet, every one of us feel that yes, I have to be on diet after certain years. I need to maintain diet. I need to maintain my health. Diet is something which should be continuous and which you should be able to continue forever. 
but always we feel diet is we are not able to eat what we want and we are deprived of what we like and it is like a punishment so what we do when we see some uh, parties we go to our friend's house we eat something which is not good in our diet but we know very well if we eat that our diet program will be disturbed and we will increase in our weight but we we all convince ourselves saying yes this is only for one time and just by eating this i can skip my lunch or the breakfast in the next day so that i can compensate it so this is what we try to reduce the conflict between the belief and the behavior in some cases in order to make it consistent the belief and the behavior align in the same line what we can do either we can change the belief or change the behavior and in some cases changing the belief is positive and in some cases changing the behavior is positive in the case of smoking if the person changes his behavior it is good for his health if somebody gives a wrong belief suppose in a workplace the boss says like it is a very very important work but you will not be able to do i'm going to replace you with another employee who is capable of doing it who is very competent and this employee says or believes if he believes that yes i will not be able to do and he can replace somebody then he is lose, losing his opportunity in order to align the belief and the behavior instead he can change his belief stating that i can do it why don't i give it try and then without changing the behavior just changing the belief alone he can reduce the conflict as well as he can succeed in his career and similarly the husband he has an affair he goes for business trips he tells the same thing to his wife and he goes to meet his girlfriend so whenever he says that definitely he will have a guilty feeling that yes i'm cheating my wife so that is his uh, uh, behavior is not changed he is going and meeting her but he thinks only if she come wife comes to know about the truth she will be affected or hurt otherwise whatever i am doing is correct so this is the belief he has instead the belief is that he is cheating his wife and if he want to align that with his behavior he can take it as i can change my behavior by not having any girlfriend and a uh, be sincere to my wife then that will be more beneficial in this case that belief and the behavior can be aligned so there are several cases and in some cases what happens uh, the false beliefs given by some people which will change the behavior of a person so you need not believe in such false belief for example one of my friend she was very upset and she was not getting a sleep at all and uh, i was uh, witnessing it and she discussed with me and she said somebody told me they have done something to their family and uh, she was aligning each and everything linking each and everything happening in her family stating that somebody has uh, done a black magic to their family and because of that only negative things are happening that is a false belief injected in her mind so because of that what happens is she started uh, suspecting each and every one whomever she is seeing and suspecting each and every output whatever is coming and whatever happens in the family whatever happens to her each and every minute she started linking that with the negative belief so this is very very bad so in that case the belief should be changed and the behavior should not be changed she should be normal and she should not believe the false things given by inputs given by somebody instead she can be cautious she can pray to god and think positive which is going to remove all the black magic or whatever negative things people do to her because unless you allow something to happen things will not happen if you are weak only all these things will happen people will try to come into your life so better be positive try to reduce the stress due to the conflict between the belief and the behavior assess where belief has to be changed and where behavior has to be changed and finally the belief and behavior stand in the same line and you don't have the stress and you don't have any disappointment i mean you will keep happy in your life stay blessed god bless you